the mystery of engraved crosses at the site of Jesus Christ's tomb, the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem, finally solved, according to Israeli scientists' claim. This is by Lila Dergatchev, Sputnik News. Now, this uh, thing here is the tomb, the Holy Sepulchre. The tomb of Christ is in this little church. And uh, this is where every Saturday morning around noon, the holy light, it's an, uncre it's an uncreated light. It's a light that is the temperature of the human body for a minute or two after it comes out. And uh, after a minute or two, then it starts becoming hot. It reminds us of the burning bush that was not consumed that was seen by the, our uh, forefather, uh, the prophet Moses, on Mount Sinai. Now, this is what the Israeli scientists claim. Previously thought the enigmatic engravings at the church of the Holy Sepulchre were made by pilgrims visiting the holy site, yet the manner was stunningly unified as if belonging to one or just a few handcrafted masters. Archaeologists from the Israeli Antiquities Authority say they've solved a historic riddle of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, where that which was erected on the place where Jesus is uh, believed to have been buried. Now, its walls were known to feature strings of engraved crosses, which have piqued the curiosity of great many scientists. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. These crosses were uh, a mystery to many scientists as they have been unable to decipher who made them ages ago. One of the theories goes that pilgrims could have etched them into the stone conveying the message that I came, I saw, as a statement of some accomplished action. This unique phenomenon always baffled us. This is what Emmet Rehm said. He said of Israeli Antiquity Authority, Jerusalem District, telling Reuters, it is, is it graffiti of the pilgrims or rather something else? In the course of the renovation at the sacred Christian site, archaeologists managed to finally examine the carvings up close using 3D imaging and digital technology to compare the engravings and date them. They discovered that the thousands of religious symbols had all been made by only a few people, thereby arriving at a new hypothesis about the work of art being something less random and more structured. He said, we saw that all of the crosses have the same depth and even the marking of the mason. Maybe two or three hand artists made these crosses, Ram said. So it's not graffiti, it's something more organized. Rehm went on to suggest that it was common practice for pilgrims to assign masons the task of making the carvings, which explained the manner and style being more or less unified. Rehm said, let's say that you are an Armenian pilgrim, so you pay something to the priest, you pay something to the special artist, and he carved for you, for the benefit of your soul and your relative souls, a special cross in the most sacred place for Christianity on earth, he said. This is on Sputnik News. And again, I want to, I want to wish you all a happy month of April. Today is April 1st. I'm not going to give you an April Fool's joke. All the April Fool's joke I did to uh, my dear ones <laughs> didn't, take, didn't take effect. They saw right through them. Anyway, I wish you a good month and a, a very um, blessed Lent period before Easter. Thank you for your support.